I'm too sick to film this week, guys. Drip. Hold on, let me move this so I can see what you see. Oh, man. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm quite a bit migrainey right now, but I'm not that confused compared to usual migrainey, but I do think I'm getting there. I feel really shaky right now. My palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. I wonder if Eminem had a CSF leak. Guys, I don't really know where to start. I might be a little bit too confused to film this right now, but I feel like a lot has changed since my flat test because I learned... I'm sorry, but I'm, so, I'm stuttering so much. Um, I'm declining fast. Oh, I bet you it's because I sat up to film. So that's one of the things that's changed since my flat test. I guess I'll start there. I'm getting spots in my vision. And I'm too confused to consider that I should lay down, even though I said it. Sometimes when I have a migraine, what I do is I try to do what I think my husband would want me to do. And right now that would be to lay down and have some water in the opposite order. I'm wearing a dress because I'm supposed to film for you. And yesterday I wore this dress because I got all ready to film for you. I had my makeup on and everything. I was ready to go. And then I got an aura, a classic migraine aura. It was weird because I don't usually get that aura. It was one of the crescent moon ones that gets really um, zigzaggy. Oh, this is better. I don't like this tag being in the frame. I'm going to flip this. I almost just knocked that picture right off the wall and it would have landed on my head. Shoot, where do I, where do I start? I really, I'm just going to start talking. A lot has changed since my flat test. I feel like I'm, you know, I absolutely just can't hold a thought right now. I'm going to have to come back later. I can't hear myself think over how loud the ringing in my ear is and all that. And I guess that was the whole point of coming on here was just to tell you guys that I'm not doing very well these days. I feel like since my flat test, I'm noticing what I'm doing that's triggering things. And it's a little frustrating because I'm just always wanting to lay down. But I also notice that when I lay down, sometimes it makes it worse. Like sometimes it's nicer to just let things be low and not mess it up because like now my head's starting to hurt like it starts to pound it's whooshing and ringing but also pounding and then sometimes i don't know I, like sometimes i need to sit up and sometimes i need to lay down and it's just gotten way worse since the flat test i think that my pressure is raising more in my head than it used to and it's probably because i'm paying attention to it and laying down and I know what that trigger now. It's an amazing trigger to know. <sighs> okay. I do feel like I need to sit again because now I feel like there's way too much pressure. My hands are super clammy. I just, this is what I've been doing this week. I almost get ready to film. And, or, I mean, in the case of yesterday, I was actually 100% ready to film, like I said, makeup, dress, everything. I even have a little paper with all my notes, what I was going to film. I drew what the thumbnail could be so that even Migraine Gen would be able to get it out for you guys. And I've literally just been so sick. I'm really nauseous and confused. I'm migrainey a lot more. So I'm not sure what changed in the last couple uh, weeks, month, whatever, but something's up. I haven't been doing as well on my naps recently. 
I do think that that's a big part of it. Even though I'm laying down intermittently, I'm not doing as well having huge chunks of nap. So maybe that's something I need to work on. Maybe I'm just doing too many up downs these days, but I'm also very nauseous. I actually went through a weight loss journey a while ago because I love food. I eat too much food, but I decided it's time to lose some weight. So I lost about 25% of my body weight that year and I worked really hard to keep it off and I've slowly needed to stop exercising due to my health. Now you would think that that would make me gain the weight back, but I actually have been having a ton of trouble keeping any weight on. And until I was pregnant with baby A, there was just seemingly nothing I could do to put weight on. The pregnancy really was what put the weight on, which is ironic because I was super nauseous. I'm starting to stutter again. Once the pots hit, the weight loss was just pew. I think I went down to about 115 pounds and I was feeling really fatigued and malnourished. And that's kind of how I'm feeling now. After the pregnancy, I think immediately postpartum, I want to say I was somewhere around 140 and I was like, I'm keeping this weight on. I don't care if it's a little bit above what my goal weight is, that like 130 range where I know I'm really happy, but I was like, I am keeping this weight on. But I couldn't. And over the last like month or two, I've really noticed that I've declined again in terms of my weight. Like I feel like the final little bits of postpartum have shed off of me. I'm now five months postpartum, so I'm feeling better in terms of not being pregnant anymore and like re-equilibrating to myself, which unfortunately is underweight. All this to say, I do think that that is contributing to it. I'm really nauseous with all of this up-down stuff, and I feel like the ringing and whooshing is a lot worse than it was pre-baby stuff. Maybe I'm getting worse because the baby is getting heavier and I'm doing a lot of bending and twisting. I don't know. I like to speculate about why things are hurting so that I can try to eliminate them from my life and have it be less symptomatic. I just got an ear bomb. I'm going to lay down. Usually now I would say, I hope you guys understand why I'm having trouble making my regular videos, but I know you guys understand. I know you guys get exactly where I'm coming from. Having a YouTube is hard. Being chronically ill even without a job is hard. Being a new mom is hard, even if you're not this ill. So I know that you guys are all rooting for me, and I can't thank you enough for that. It really does help me with keeping my spirits up. Hold on, I don't want to have a weird... You know, they say it takes a village, and that is freaking true. And you guys know that I'm really missing my family right now and missing my friends. So it means a lot to have you guys in addition to my regular support group. Just knowing that you guys are out there rooting for me, and I'm rooting for you right back. I really enjoy reading your stories, as sad as it is that we're all going through this together. It really does help to not feel alone. Because being here in my bedroom, day in and day out, it starts to feel alone. So thank you guys um, for, for everything. Life has a way of throwing curveballs. And I'm glad that together we've found a way to maybe be a little bit less miserable about it. And I feel like there was something else I wanted to mention while I was talking to you. But oh yeah, I wanted to let you know about the doctors, guys. So after my flat test, I, I let you guys know last week that they wanted to start evaluating me for a spinal CSF leak, which frankly, getting that little bit of validation really made me feel like I could open up my mind to the idea for the first time, which is kind of crazy to admit, but looking at my behavior and the way things are going with my up and down and all that, my history, my EDS and all this, 
the dots are connecting for me now and they're willing to humor it too. So this is a tangent. Where the heck was I going? This is so frustrating. Uh... Oh, the doctors. Oh yeah. So they, <laughs> I say, oh yeah, so much. <laughs> Every single video, there's a part where I'm like, uh, and then I'm like, oh yeah. So they wanted to evaluate me for the CSF leak. They ordered full spine MRI, so we're in that refer referral process now. Um, I got my MRIs from, the, my brain MRIs from a couple of months ago. Like immediately postpartum, I went right in and got brain MRIs. Those ones are being sent in the mail. Sorry, I'm scratching myself. Those ones are being sent in the mail. Actually, those probably should have arrived by now, so they have those. The doctor made an appointment for me, actually, with a leak specialist. That was the absolute biggest thing that happened this week. Then, unfortunately, the next day, they called me back and took it back and said, sorry for the miscommunication, but we weren't supposed to give you that appointment. So this week was another medical roller coaster where they were like, you know what, this is really good. Just go ahead and see the leak specialist. And then the, the very next day, it got taken away. Um, I was so excited. I mean, this is a doctor that I had actually heard of, which is crazy. You know, there are only the handful, you know, 10 doctors or so that I've heard of who are really advocates for these leaker patients. And this was one of them. So, you know, so close yet so far. But I do have another appointment coming up, a follow up that they wanted to do after my MRIs got sent. So wishful thinking. I'm hoping that they want to talk to me about that. It's just kind of weird that they suddenly want to do a follow up, even though I haven't been in for my spine MRI yet. I don't know. Something just feels kind of weird about it. But either way, I'm excited for the update. That'll be next week. If you're only following me on YouTube, then you definitely won't get updated on that whole process during next week's video. If you do want to stay up to date on that, you've got to be on either Instagram stories, because I don't really post on my Instagram feed, or if not Instagram stories, Patreon, because there's Q&A in the Discord and all that, so you can ask and I will tell. I feel like every few minutes, my mind just blank. Like, I just gone. I used to be so smart, bright, witty, clever, quick thinking, snappy, a little sassy. I know you guys have seen hints of it. This is just so weird to go through. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to bid thee farewell because the longer I keep rambling, the more footage I'm going to have to edit. So I'm going to do my future self, do my future self a favor and stop here. But thank you guys so much for listening. Hopefully I'll have more updates for you soon. I, I want to keep updating you because I want to keep getting this news too. I'm really sorry that I'm not able to do everything that I want to do on here. It's totally my dream to live in a world where I can make you a video every single week and have it be high quality and fun and informative and helpful for you, but I'm just a little bit sick right now. Thanks for understanding, guys.